Today marks the 51st anniversary of the landmark decision Roe v. Wade. All these years later, abortion politics may be a factor in the upcoming election. Kumi Tucker reports. I th it's very sad. It's a really sad day to imagine that we are less free today than we were a year ago. The head of Upper Hudson Planned Parenthood reflected on this 51st anniversary of the Supreme Court decision Roe v. Wade. It is the decision of the United States Supreme Court. It handed down a historic decision. In 1973, the ruling came as a shock, while New York's then existing liberal abortion law was under attack, as seen in reporting from that time. Well, it means that January 22, 1973 will stand out as one of the great days for freedom and free choice. How many millions of children prior to their birth will never live to see the light of day because of the shocking action of the majority of the United States Supreme Court today? In 2022, a Supreme Court ruling ended federal protection for Roe's abortion rights. At least 16 states now have all-out bans. Last week, there was a large anti-abortion march in Washington, celebrating that Dobbs decision and pushing to keep fighting. The U.S. Supreme Court is scheduled to hear a case that could limit access to a commonly used abortion medication. And the issue might become a hot topic on the campaign trail. Democrats are expected to rally supporters on abortion rights this presidential election. I think that, that voters across the country strongly support continued access to abortion care. And state after state, when it's on the ballot, uh, they have spoken. And so I cannot imagine that that won't continue. Upper Hudson Planned Parenthood reported 16,500 total visits last year for a variety of services, including 1,300 pap tests and breast exams and 2,500 abortion visits. In Albany, Kumi Tucker, News Channel 13.